Hey guys, Braden here with ATT. I don't have a lot of time, so if you want this full version of the Awesome Pottery Trap, you can just head to patreon.com slash Podcast. We need this support. The support helps the show tremendously. You've got two ways to support Patreon or Supercast, or you can just top up the beer coffers by scanning that code and sending us some beer money. Anyways, I hope you enjoy our Awesome Pottery Cap and think about supporting the show. Thanks, guys. Enjoy. Oh, that's right. We had... We printing did, on my $20 waters. We did see, we did see a couple other theorists And making short there. jokes. So Ready to me, and Jason, awesome. me and Jason are up on the balcony. We're kind of sitting there. And then a security guard comes out and he's like, oh, shit. What are you guys doing out here? You can't be up here. You you have to go. And then he like looks at Jason. And he's like, please. <laughs> he's like, or don't if you don't want to. I'm not going to tell you to do anything you don't want to do. And then he's like, would you like a joint? Like gives me a joint. I'm like, all right, sure. I'm like, yeah, we'll just smoke and go, man. We're just, we're just shitting the shit. So he's like, okay, please. Yeah. If you wouldn't mind, we have to clear you out. I was like, all right. So we go outside and then you guys are like with another dude, like a random dude. And we should have shouted. We, Mr. Texas was at the show too. Met Mr. Texas who weaseled a table right beside us, Attaboy. which was awesome. Um, but we go out, Mr. Texas is gone. Jason's down. And all of a sudden there's this, just another guy. Well, no, it was Jason's friend. Jason's we friend. thought it was yeah, Jason's friend. Assumed. Well, you guys yes. came, you guys also came out with that joint. And I specifically said before that <laughs> night, I said, no matter what, don't let me smoke. Don't let me share joints. I can't yeah. ping COVID positive on the way home. Just, I know if they're presented to me, I'm just going to reach out and I'm going to grab it and I'm going to yeah, smoke, smoke it. I'm not even going to think twice about it. And what did I do? First thing, yeah. you guys want Here's... some weed? All right. Smoke the whole thing. <laughs> Stupid. Uh, so now it's like the four of us. We head we head to this other bar uh, to well, go get five some of us. Five of us. And at this point in time, all I've had to fucking eat was a Phoebe's fucking brisket omelet at whatever. And a Chick Fil A. Sam and a Chick Fil A. Les Wrap Chick Fil A. I am fucking starving, dude. And we're we're like I'm I'm talking Mitro drunk, like on the teeter and on blackout. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Point. I couldn't have any uh, more drinks. And uh, so we go to this bar and we're like, these guys are like, we gotta go. It's like okay. Hey, Jason, Jason's buddy. Not uh, boy, dude, you're skip like this. You're missing. Fucking... I don't remember. I see a. We're almost at blackout here. We're 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 trying to hit a bar, and I'm like, we have to find food. We got to find food. Shawarmas. Jason's good buddy. Jason's good, good friend. Good you know, Jason friend. came all the way here from England, but he's got a friend with him. That he knows, obviously. That's what we thought. Puts his arm around my shoulder, and he's like, "Hey, but I got you. Hey, buddy. Hey, let's go get some food. I got you, buddy. Like, Howdy. come on. Howdy. I'm like, okay, man. Like." I was like, you know where to get food? He's like, yeah, I'm local. I'll take you guys some food. I'm like, perfect. We start strolling. We start looking for food. And I'm looking behind me. And I'm like, where the fuck are my friends? What is happening here? <laughs> right? And, you know, this guy's like arms around my shoulder. And I kind of just like slithered out of it being like, what the fuck? Where am I? Like massive stranger danger. It's like <laughs> shooting my head. I'm lost in Texas with this random guy. I have no idea where we are. You motherfuckers come wrapping around a corner. And I'm like, thank fucking God. <laughs> this random guy looks super disappointed. I don't know why, but I'm like, my friends, yay. So we all go upstairs, <laughs> grab some drinks. We finish our drinks. Sarah by Jason. We say, hey, Jason's friend. It was so nice meeting. Jason's like, what you, this is my friend. I, I thought know. this was your friend. I thought this was, I thought he was with you. <laughs> You're like, what? <laughs> Who the fuck is this guy? He's a nice guy. Seemed nice. Yeah, until he fucking roofied you and tried to bang you when you're just trying to get some chicken fingers. I didn't think I scared me. It's a good thing I turned down his drink. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, <laughs> so what became a theme for us is we pe- we deked out at midnight. Now, again, we have we had a little bit of shawarma. We get back to the Airbnb, and uh, y- you know what it is. Like The boys love some American fast food, so we jump on that Uber Eats. Uh, <laughs> or we're like, what do we want? Jack in the Box. Jack in the Box is down the road. Late night Jack in the Box, bro. It's going to be delicious. Like, what, like five kilometers away? It's not far. Not far. It not should even. take 10 minutes to get there. Uh, put in our order. Pay for it. <laughs> estimated time of arrival, two and a half hours. <laughs> well, it, no, it, no, it would start like, oh, estimated time, 45 minutes. Estimated time, hour and 20 minutes. Estimated time, two hours and 45 minutes. Worth. Order oh, canceled. Fuck. Restarting order. <laughs> so What? Was it, was it that night or the next night that one time the order said delivered and it just never came? That was the next night. That was the next night. Fuck. Uh, but you know, whatever. Jack and Box never showed up. We never got. So First we went to night. went to bed hungry. Went to bed. Fucking you boys hadn't eaten. We hadn't slept in. Fucking forever. Uh, wasted. Go to bed. Sleeping fully clothed. 
conk yeah. the fuck out. <laughs> yeah. Uh, day one. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. By the time we finished that day and waited for the food that never came, it was almost three in the morning. Day one. So we slept for like, I don't know, we got five hours or something. Maybe. Maybe. Woke up. Uh, these motherfuckers are saying, hey, man, we got we got to go to the gym. Got to go. <laughs> we got to go to the gym. Got to go. Like, nope, I'm not going. I'm not going to start going to the gym on holidays. There's no, <laughs> there's no fucking chance. That I'm not sense. coming. I'll go for a run. I brought my shoes. I was like, I'll go check out the neighborhood. I'll go for a quick run. These motherfuckers go find, try and find a gym and try and scam them out of a free week or something. What did you guys do? Well, there was, <laughs> this is fucking so embarrassing. <laughs> so stupid. The uh, the closest gym was just down the road. I don't even remember the fucking name of this fucking place. But we get there. Castle Hill Fitness. Uh, Castle Hill Fitness. It's it's basically a lady fit. When you get there, it's it's you go in there. We walk in and we're like, all right, like they're we're kind of getting some weird looks. When we get in there, and uh, we're like, can we just get a day? Like there was a seven day free trial, oh, but man. we're mind you, like I'm so we- hungover. So Dude, hungover, sweating. Like, my phone, like you're just your mouth's dry, and you're about 25 minutes into the sales pit, uh, pitch, and you're like, I just can I just fucking pay you money to work out yeah. here, please, <laughs> <laughs> please. Like I just can you shut the fuck up? I'm sorry. Like I can't listen to you anymore. Uh, so we we go in there, we pay the 25 dollars. Like we go in the back, and there's just a big room. It's, it's like, an expensive again, drop in. 25 bucks, man. American. U.S. American. You paid $32 to go to that and, gym. Uh, we go in there. There's not a lot of equipment. Again, it's basically like a ladies like Zumba fitness thing. Literally, there's nothing there. But there was one squat rack. And I think we went we went over fucking 225. We put 225 on the bar and like everyone stopped. And like one yeah. of the people that worked there was like, you guys need to be careful. Yeah. You need to be careful with that weight. And you need to put collars on it right now. So... <laughs> <laughs> Needless to say, like not it was so fucking awkward the whole time. It was awful. Um, God, God awful, and like just like deathly hungover, right? Like didn't like, we shouldn't have been there? We shouldn't have been there. We jumped in the tail end of a Zumba class. <laughs> we're in the yeah. back, right? Whatever. Fuck For a few cows. Yeah, we're all off beat compared to everyone. I was killing it. But... <laughs> I was off beat. I don't know. I'm too offbeat. <laughs> uh. Then we got the fuck out of there. We're like, you're like, yeah, hey, this is enough. This we grabbed a couple stupid. percolators and got the fuck out of there. Um, oh, percolators. Meet Zell, meet, Juice land. Meet, Hell yeah. Meet Zell uh, back at the place, and he's like, yo, boys, Uncle Slam is coming to pick us up to take us to the gun range. Well, before that, I went for a short run, and I got to say, I found uh, Uncle Phil's you, house. You watched fucking Jazzy Jeff get tossed on the front porch. Like, that Legit, was Uncle Phil's I, was, I went for just a short run, like a 20-minute run around the neighborhood, which is it looks like it looks like Hollywood. Like there's these, these giant fucking houses. And you know people are rich when they got like six landscapers working on their gardens. So I'm, I'm running around and I see so it's like a three or four acre flat parcel of land, and right in the middle looks like a mini white house. Like just big white pillars out front, huge like it's like three stories. There's like eighty windows. It's like, whose house is this? I'm guessing it's the mayor's. Had to have been. Who else lives like that? I didn't look close enough. There's probably fucking armed guards on the roof. Oh, probably. Uh, but yeah, that that was the day uh, we, a great member of the community, Uncle Slam on Discord, said he would take us to the Texas gun range. Oh, fucking, this guy's a beauty. And I, I, I didn't, he said in the chat, I didn't realize his first encounter with us, we're all shirtless. Yeah, Sitting glistening there. shirtless. Glistening. Just yeah. a little sun. Got, got some... To keep up to date with all things alien theorist theorizing, follow us across social media on Twitter, Instagram, Patreon, and Facebook. For updates on new videos and content on YouTube, don't forget to click like and subscribe and hit that notifications button to keep those eyes on the skies with alien theorists theorizing.